it's morning now. I thought I'd finish this uh, introduction to my, apparently, my last and final book to ever be published to Amazon's Kindle. So, yeah. If there ever comes a time where I uh, am able to get back on it, I will um, make it in kind, into a kind of uh, audiobook, uh, audio visual, because I'll put the videos into it. And that way, you don't have to read it. You can just press the button and I'll start reading it to you. Okay. Uh, back to the gay boy. The last time I saw him was in a picture in Facebook. I messaged him. I messaged him saying, I used to know someone with your name and looks. But he never responded back. And instead, his F, his Facebook account was later deleted by him. I don't know. The picture of him was the picture of him that was deleted along with his Facebook account was of him standing in a forest looking like a lumberjack. No doubt a lumberjack with a Morris the Cat voice. I don't know if you know what Morris the Cat sounded like, but he, he sounded like this. Well, I know what you are about to read if you dare, is not Tolstoy, but I had to present it to let Muslims know a little of the of the background of the guy who exposes their faith on the internet while that door still actually remains open. It's coming to an end fast, though. Big time. It is taught in Islam that we are all born Muslim, that it's our parents that lead us off the right path, even though the Quran says it's Allah that leads on and off the right path as Allah pleases. Guess what? I can remember breastfeeding or trying to, and if those memories are legit, and I believe they are, I have no memory of ever wanting to be on a prayer rug to please a being called Allah. No memory of that at all. This book, I feel, will help Muslims know what kind of mentality they have been dealing with. They are dealing with someone who used to be a kid who, like his fictional childhood hero, King Kong, just wanted to be left alone and enjoy the nature around him. One more thing. The stuff at the end of this book has nothing to do with this book, but was placed there to make this book long enough so you don't have to buy it if you want to read the first part of it. It's just filler, so you can open the book up in Amazon's Kindle and read possibly more than one story from that certain time. Also, since it deals with memories, here's something to possibly listen to. Right here, yeah. Right here. From a science fiction that dealt with memories, or what was perceived as memories, I thought such music would help go along with the writing. Not go along with the writings, that's it. And the first story that I created, yeah, was I Am a Wall, written September 12th. But I'm not putting the year. It goes like this. I am a wall. Every day people pass me. Sometimes I'm kicked, sometimes people scratch me or draw pictures on me. I'm also burned. I wish I were the ceiling. Sometimes I get a new coat of paint and I look really nice. The end. Another one's Mountains, which was written um, 
September 16th. Mountains are pretty, aren't they? I like mountains. I like to climb them, too. I like to climb the trees that are in the mountains. I like to go up to the highest tree in the mountains and look down and see our apartment, the inn. King Kong. Uh, September... Uh, September 17th. King Kong was on an island. Some people came in a giant boat and captured him. They took him to a zoo. They were going to a circus. The people were making fun of him, so he broke out. He climbed the building. Then people were shooting at him, so he jumped off the building. Then he disappeared. <laughs> well, anyway... <laughs> uh, those are, that's the kind of stuff you're going to, if you're interested, you know, it's, 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 it's thoughts from a child, nine-year-old, yeah. He just turned nine, actually. Well, he was about to turn nine, yeah, around their time. But 